Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy. Gaming end in this episode. I think we are going to... Um, we're going to do one more uh, building episode. Uh, we're going to work on the interior of the building. And uh, then in the next episode, the tentative plan will be for us to start the Zephyr mission. <clears throat> okay, so um, I have finished all of the beam work uh, in the base. So, as you can see, I've got beams and peaks. Um, basically outlining the whole frame of the house. Um, I think it looks all right. I haven't, I, I, part of me feels like it's maybe a bit much, but I haven't convinced myself one way or the other. So we're going to, we're going to stick with it for now. Uh, but this is what it looks like on the inside. And let's take a quick gander at what it looks like on the outside. So... Yeah, I mean it's not um, it's not bad. I think it looks looks okay. Um, let's go take a look at it from the other side here. So that's what it looks like from this side. Oh, you freaking fish! So yeah, it, it we're gonna we're gonna run with this for now. Oh, I missed a. I missed a piece right there, didn't I? <clears throat> okay, yeah, we're gonna have to get that uh, peak piece in there so that the outline goes all the way up. But I think it looks all right. I'm, I'm digging it. I am digging it. Okay, so let's get that piece taken care of, and then we're gonna do the next thing here. Uh, I had a storm come in not too long before I started the recording, so we do have to keep an eye on that because the stone uh, does get. Um, it does take minor damage. It's not nothing really that you have to worry about unless you completely... Um, why can't I move? That's weird. You say I don't have any trouble getting up this ladder. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. Something was weird there. Um, it's not something you have to worry about fixing constantly. Um, because it has enough durability to withstand quite a bit of damage, but at some point, you know, you gotta you gotta get on it because it won't last forever. Okay, let's get in here, and we had the one more peak piece that we have to put in there, and it looks like we're gonna have to make that too. So let's do that. One more of these here. Now, whilst we're in here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a wood table and a chair. Just get a little furniture going going on in the upstairs area. And let's look at uh, the tech trees. So we have nine points available. So if we go to tier two. I was thinking about making an ice box just to store our extra ice in. I kind of hate to throw it out, but on the other hand, what are we going to do with it, you know? So I haven't really decided. Interior wood cupboard. Uh, I, I want to go ahead and do the interior wood railings because I put the exterior ones up by the stairs and I'm, I'm not, uh, not a fan of the way they're looking. I don't think the interior wood cupboard, uh, cupboard looks differently enough than from the normal one. To warrant learning that, so I don't think we will do that. All right, so uh, let's make three of these, and we'll grab the chair and the table, and these three rails here. So yeah, I put the the external rails here, and I mean they're not they don't look terrible. But, you know, the iron cap and all that stuff on the outside is not, not doing it for me. So we're going to swap these out with the interior rails, which I think will look better. And then these I'm planning on, still planning on putting outside on the balcony. Um, we're definitely going to have to repair them a lot if we do that, though. So I don't know. You know what we could maybe do is put half stone or even concrete walls out there. And maybe line the top of them with some wood, you know, to make them look good. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay. So I think, everybody, that we are finished, for now anyways, with the... Oh, I didn't grab that roof piece. Here, let's do this. Let's put you here. This is like our little desk work area. We'll put a chair. Um, rotate? How do I rotate this? I don't think I can. I'm going to have to do it this way. Oh, right. I can do it that way. Forgot. Okay. Here, so we have a little table and chair over there. Um, I think there's probably some rug options for us, maybe? Well, not the animal bed. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Could be in here. Some more decorative rug items. Maybe in tier three. Not seeing anything in tier three. What about tier four? No. Okay, well, maybe there isn't. I, I don't remember. If there is a rug option, let me know in the comments. Uh, I don't want to spend a bunch of time look, looking for it right now. I still didn't grab the roof piece. <laughs> for Pete's sake. Okay. Now we have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have it. There we go. All right. Looking good. So yeah, I think I think that's it for the structural part of the base. Now we're still going to build a barn and we're going to build a power uh, a separate shed to put all of these in but we're not I, I'm not gonna do that right now that'll come in a future episode um, so what I want to do now is I want to I just want to work on the actual interior layout of the base next uh, and we're gonna need some walls for that so why don't we how many can we craft now yeah, well we probably don't need 23 let's start with let's start with eight and then, uh, you know, we'll we'll make more as as needed. As far as these reinforced railings go, the idea is to put them out here, like so. But here again, you know, when we get storms, maybe not so much these ones here underneath the thing, but when we get storms, I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of repairing to keep them intact I'm thinking and if it gets to be too much of a pain in the neck then we might well no we don't want to go with a half stone wall thing because then we won't be able to see over it very well because th this is less than half of a wall uh, we might just not be able to have railings at all but we'll give it a try and we'll see like I said how well it works Let's go ahead and sleep. Make it daytime. All right, now, um, let's see here. Uh, we're gonna work on the kitchen first. So I think, hopefully we can put the walls in place. Um, and not have to worry about stuff clipping. So the idea is we put an interior wall here. Are those exactly the same on both sides? It looks like it, except for the grains probably a, bit, a little bit different. Um, and then we're going to put a... Uh, this is going to have to be a doorway. that um that's probably gonna have to be an inverted angle 
I'm thinking. We can't. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to put a door in in that. So, um, let's go with this. I think and I I'm probably not going to put actual doors in um, just doorways for the interior setup right okay now we're gonna do the same thing on this side Put a door there and a solid wall there. Good. I'm glad it lets me place it without having to worry about it clip. And this will be um, another roof piece. see the directional arrow on it. This is all going to get fixed here. It's not going to stay that way. Okay. Um, it kind of makes sense for us to move the door over. In fact, I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place from the get-go. It's going to kind of, if we do it now, it's going to kind of clip in with the, um, the fence there. But that fence isn't going to stay there anyway. So let's grab the wood out of here. And we'll pick this guy up. And I'm just going to temporarily... Is there anything in here? What about in here? Yeah, let's let's use this chest to temporarily store stuff until we get things moved around. We kind of need a need need that. All right, now we're going to pick this door up and we're going to pick this up and this up. This becomes a window. And this becomes a door. We don't need that floor at all. We need a wood floor. Uh, we might... I don't actually I don't think I'm gonna use the stone floors um, you know even for like right here I think we'll, we'll use concrete floors because I think they'll look better okay so let's put you down um, I don't think I got the grain correct on that So we want the arrow facing out. I can't even tell which way it's facing now. Yeah, it looks like it's facing out. Okay. And um, let's just eat this for now. Okay. And then we will take the stairwell and put it here. No. What did I do? I want the stairs. This. 
And then this needs to be moved over to here. Like so. Okay. And yeah, like I said, this, this fence is going to be moved later, so it's not going to stay gimp like this, but we'll just have to... We're just going to live with that for the time being until I can get the, the barn taken care of. Put the door back in place. There we go. I'm liking it so far. Liking it so far. All right. Now, I'm not, I'm not planning on further dividing these two rooms. So let's go ahead now and come up to here. And I think what we'll do up here is we will put that there, that there, and this here. And that encloses our bedroom. Probably want to do this also. Um, trying to put the wall there, like that. And then those will have to be angled pieces. Make two of those. I really, um, I like the building in this game. It's, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Like most of these games, it can be a little frustrating sometimes, but for the most part, I think it works pretty good. Okay, put that out. Oh, you know what? I'll bet you we're going to have to remove the beams there to get this to work. That should have the same effect, hopefully it does anyways, on the outside. Uh, we need an inverted piece here, so we need this piece. No. This piece. There. Okay. Cool. Now, for up here, not really sure yet what we're going to do up here. Well, I know we're going to have, uh, my plan is to have this side to be complete, you know, all storage. <clears throat> and then the other side, not sure yet. The other side will probably be crafting stations that we use less frequently. Um, so I think that being the case... Why don't we Why don't we hold off on any more walls up here for now until I have a little bit better feel for for how I'm going to set things up. And we you know, we don't even necessarily need to put walls up there if we didn't want to. We could just leave that part open. Okay. Excelente. Now Next order of business here is let's get our kitchen set up. Completely set up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove things out of the kitchen that aren't kitchen stuff. Uh, namely, well, this for sure. So let's pick this guy up. And we'll just uh, store it up here in our temporary storage area until we're ready to set it back down. Okay, now let's make another wood floor. And I'm going to put that stuff back in there for the moment. this to go down here but we want to make sure that arrow is pointing out and I can't tell no nope, it's not okay so 
want to go from this side. Oh, actually, you know what? That looks right. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. Maybe this one's not. Never really be able to tell, though, because the walls are dividing them. All right, so that gets that out of there. Now, um, we're going to go into the tech tree. We still have eight points. We're going to go to tier four. And, oh, I guess I've already learned these things. We just haven't made them yet. Fair enough. Um, I want to make the chemistry bench, too. So what I'm thinking is chemistry bench and material processor and biofuel composter kind of over in this area. And then we just kind of redo things a little bit over here. I've considered doing away with the refrigerator altogether and just doing multiple freezers. Now, there's two downsides to that. One is it's only half the storage space, and two, you know, we're going to have to repeatedly get rid of ice. I hate to throw ice away, but, I mean, again, it's like I said earlier, what am I going to do with it? I mean, I could build, I could learn and build an ice box and store it in there, but for what purpose? You know? Um, is ice used to, to do anything else besides just... Like, is there a, a beverage or something that ice is used for? It doesn't give us, like, a, a recipe option. Um, yeah, see, none of that requires ice. Is there anything we haven't learned? Look in tier two because that's probably where most of that stuff's going to be. Um, actually, maybe it, maybe the beverage is, you know, like the um, cocoa and all that stuff. Maybe that is tier three. Let's look in tier three. Yeah. Okay. Beer, wine, berry jam. Thermos over here. Canteen. If we look in here for beverages. And yeah, none of that requires ice. So I don't think, I, I can't think of what ice is needed for. Um, so we're probably just going to toss it. It just doesn't make sense uh, otherwise to use it. So. Um, we need to do something different over here obviously. We've got the salting station, the cooking station, the wood composter. You know, the other, uh, oh, the, the second thing that I don't like about the deep freeze is it takes up two floor spaces, whereas this only takes up one. So, I, I don't think we'll do that. I think we'll just get, we'll continue using a refrigerator as well as that. I know for sure I want the sinks and the, all that to be here because it's right next to the water. Though, I think the, the advanced sink can be plumbed, which we'll want to do. Let's go over here. Marble kitchen bench, marble kitchen storage, electric stove. So yeah, we're going to need electronics, I mean glass and aluminum and copper and all that stuff's not a problem, but we're going to need composites. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 14. We're going to need a total of 14 composites to make those three thingies. And then for the chemistry bench, we're going to need another 10. So we're going to need a total of 24 composites to make that stuff. Okay. So that means then we need to make a bunch of this. So we need 
gold ore, silica ore, and iron ore. Okay, let's grab a couple stacks of gold. Let's grab a couple stacks of iron. Throw those in there. And then... Uh, silica. We need silica. Which I believe we have in here. Yeah, let's grab a stack of that. Let's just make 36, because we're going to probably need composites for other things as well. Alright, so I would like to have... You know what? We don't actually need this kind of storage in the kitchen at all, because that's sort of what the... It, we're, there's a kitchen storage thingy that we can or are going to make. I'd kind of like this to be in here, but it doesn't strictly have to be in here either. Um, let's get rid of this cable. I'm going to have to redo wiring and plumbing, too, as a part of this process. Um, let's grab both of the tools, though. I'm just going to leave the rest of those cables in place for the, for the moment. So, yeah, what I was saying is this doesn't necessarily need to be in here. Well, it would be nice to have one next to the grinder, though, wouldn't it? Okay. Oh my god, how many of those did I make? <laughs> Lots. Um, oh man, we're going to have to set the furnace back down. Okay, let's... Think, think, think. Okay. Let's take a, a pause for a moment from the kitchen. And come over here, and I want to make at least two concrete floors. Not anymore. Okay. Let's pick that floor up, and I guess, yeah, that was not precisely what I wanted to do there. Uh, let's get all the wood back there. I'm just going to put all of this stuff in here for the moment, just to get rid of it. Take all. going to make sure all the concrete floors are sticking out. All right now, I also want to move these. I don't think there's actually anything in here. I just built a new one because I lost the other one. And we might not need this at all once we get the Kim bench set up. My assumption is the Kim bench will do everything this will do, but that's not always the case, so we'll have to check that when the time comes. Uh, but let's put that in there for now. I'm carrying 11 stone floors in my inventory. That's why I'm getting so heavy. Let's put the ice in there, too. And we'll put the wood beams in there. This has my extra stuff in it, so let's pull all that out. This is more of a kind of a consumption thing, too, so that could potentially go in the kitchen if we can find a place to fit it. But for now, it goes in there. How are we doing on that, by the way? Yeah, let's swap these out. Okay, so pick this up. And then put 
this in its place with the arrow pointing that way. Very good. Okay, so we are going to put our smelting um, things here because in my mind it makes sense this stuff like that you wouldn't want it on a wood floor and we got a flash storm coming in all right so let's grab both of these guys so i think we'll put the big the big one all the way up against the wall both pretty sizable and then make sure we're square is it possible is it possible to put two half pieces down next to each other. Um, let's see something. Let's grab these two half pieces. Pick that back up for a second. We're going to do a little science experiment here. Okay, so this needs to be here. that there for the moment. Now can I get another half piece in next to it? If I can, you guys probably know where, I, where I'm going with this. Uh... Oh, if I do it like... Turns green for just a pixel. But it doesn't stay green. Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me do it. Um, and why does it turn green for just a smidge second there? Here. Pick that back up. I want the damn thing to be pointing the other direction. Not that direction. So... <laughs> um, let's go outside for a minute. Okay, now... I can't tell what it's doing right now. Yeah, I can't tell what it's doing. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Just for science, let's 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 see if we can get him to go this way. Right, now, I want you... I gotta, pick, I gotta get that wall out of the way for a minute. Now I gotta wait for all the debris to get out of the way. Yeah, it just does not want to go the way that I want it to go. And I think it's probably because the game's not going to let me put two half pieces in the same place. There we go. That's that's what I needed to confirm. So so you can't do that. 
Okay, it's not going to let me do that. Okay. Well, now we know. We're a little bit smarter than we were before we tried this experiment. Because that's what science does, is it makes you smarter. Okay. So what I was going to do was put a half concrete here and then a half wood here. So it's not sticking out as far. But obviously that's not going to work. So we will just go back to the concrete floor and be happy about it. And one could make an argument that you'd want to have a little extra um, stone out in front of the forge for sparks and stuff like that anyway. So it does make sense. Just not quite what I was, had in mind, but it'll have to do. Um, one of these doors is going the wrong direction. I think, it, I think we want this to go that way. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So let's get back to putting this here. And we want it all the way to the left, but not so far that it's clipping. So probably right about. There's good. And then we want to push it back until it just starts to hit the wall. And make sure we are square which I think we are there we go that's the new home and permanent home for the furnace cool next let's put the concrete furnace in and same thing make sure we're square and we'll put it all the way up against the wall and then bring it out just a touch bring it back just a touch I like it. I like it. Now that still leaves room for us to put something right here, should we decide to do so. And we could even put something here too. Those somethings could be storage chests, maybe. Um, it might make more sense though to put the anvil. Well, actually, if we could put the anvil right in between them, that would be super ideal. Let's just put the copper in there temporarily. Ah, look at that. That's going to fit nicely. We'll have it uh, go in a little bit and be more in line with the concrete furnace. I like it. Me likey. We could even push it back some more. Now I don't think we need to. Let's grab the copper and put the... I've got lots of copper. i got so much copper it's ridiculous. It's a nice problem to have. And speaking of copper, we actually need to make some more electronics anyway, so let's put these two in here. And make 23 electronics. I'm, I know we're going to need at least that much. Okay, now, the next thing we want to do is we're get, we want to get power hooked up over to here. And I'm just going to temporarily run power right now. I'm not going to worry about the way that it looks. I will make it look nice and neat later. So, is that a power node there? I think so. So, do I have a, a max limit? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, we're just going to run this. There. And we'll run this to... Let's just take it right to there and then down into there. It actually doesn't look too bad. Who knows? Maybe we'll keep it that way. Okay, now we can put these in here and we can make the composites. Except for, I 
it's not actually powered. Um, it should be. that line there, I think. Yep, that's it. Phantasmagorical. All right, you guys. Um, we are actually out of time, so let me just tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to finish setting up this area. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna basically I'm gonna redo things a little bit here. So all of our, our entire crafting area is over here and Then I'm going to get the kitchen set up and I, I need to think a little bit about this anyways And rather than kind of hemming and hawing about that on camera I think I'll just do it off camera and then once I get it all set up and in place and the wiring nice and pretty and neat I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you the end result of our base here. Uh, but it is my intention, like I said, to uh, in the next episode for us to go do the Zephyr mission. Um, so we'll probably start the next episode here at the base and just, you know, take five minutes or whatever just to show you the setup. And then we will uh, jump in and get started with Zephyr. Okay. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.